very excited to come to Adirondack Growers on another beautiful day. And there's one of my favorite people, Stephanie. She's talking to people. Here at Adirondack Growers, you can have your own wagon. Where else can you pull a wagon as a grown-up and look cool doing it? Pretty much only in Adirondack Growers. I'm going to load up. I've got 21 cucumbers. I've got mushrooms and tomatoes. That's what I'm bringing Adirondack Growers because they can't get them anywhere else. Good. I'm documenting that this is one of the few places a grown-up can pull a wagon and still be respected. <laughs> kid loving gardening loving picking berries loving selling fruit and vegetables and it just exploded uh, went to school for landscaping thinking that was my route okay and tree care and we dabbled in that for a long time and then all of a sudden I realized I was wasting my time okay and this is what we really love to do and enjoy right. I love farming I love selling good product and my favorite is when our customers walk out of here with a smile on their face. <laughs> and as a very happy customer, I gotta say, this place saved my sanity in the middle of this whole pandemic. Oh, Once yeah. a week, I'd come to get some ever crisp apples because my dad kept saying to me, you know, I was sending him because I'm busy. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I think you'd like those people over at Adirondack Growers. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, dad. And like, no, really. <laughs> I was like, okay. So one day I came yeah. And I just had such a great time talking to you and Stephanie and Lauren and just, you know, I came kind of at the end of the big Christmas thing, so it was quiet. It was quiet. And normally that time of the year we close down, we all go home, and Stephanie and Lauren get a nice long break. Yes. And we it. work in the greenhouses and we do the firewood, which we grow. A tr People don't even realize how big we really are and how uh -huh. much we really grow. Right. And behind the scenes is massive. Right. Um, and last year we stayed open so we were open three yeah. days a week that was nice. it was it was really nice it gave the girls a chance to interact with our customers and right. keep our customer base right and instead we grew our customer right base. exactly and business has just exploded yeah. since yeah then. and i, and I think good. as a customer coming here like on the weekends it was a little quieter so i had time to get to know you guys i'm i am actually kind of a shy person so 
you know, I'm an introvert, and uh -huh. I'm like really grateful you guys are extroverts. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. And, you know, it's, um, we try, we, we call you guys our Saturday customers. Right. So, because all winter, it was Saturday, we had this group of people that would come in every single Saturday and support right. us. And now they still keep coming back. Right. And you come more than Saturdays. Right. But it's, we always want to take the time to make that every single right. customer right. feel welcome, right. appreciated, and friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's we working. It. I get enthusiastic about certain things. Well, and, and, and this is one of them. <laughs> I appreciate that. And uh, uh, we have a lot of lot of bright plans for our future. And our daughter's going to, you know, be a huge part of this company and this business. And uh, we're going to be a family that grows for everybody else's family. Great, cool, awesome. Get really weird for me. Get, get as weird as you can get. Okay. What? We can do that. <laughs> to be interviewed, to be weird, we have to be ourselves. Okay. So, what I was trying to kind of convey to my two followers on YouTube is, <laughs> what's what's your story? What? How did you start this? What? Where did you come from? What's your philosophy? Who do you want to be when you grow up? What's your favorite color? What's your sign? That kind of stuff. Huh. That's a lot of stuff. Um, so we started with produce, probably Gary told you, on a picnic table. Yes. Yep. And it sold out, and I said, what do I do? I ran out. So then we built the greenhouse, and then I discovered my love of succulents. So that's where, yeah. That's oh. Completely crazy about succulents, so we start new ones from our babies. That's kind of what I want to be when I grow up, as a succulent grower. <laughs> that's a succulent meantime. little piece yeah. of information. <laughs> um, in the meantime, it's produce, stuff like that. Yeah. Right. I can't cook to save my life, but I'm a good eater, so I will well, try anything. Well, there you anything. go. You got Gary for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've done it my whole life. Um, no, I'm saying today it's actually kind of funny. It seems weird to have done this for almost 18 years. I mean, it doesn't seem normal, but I, when I was three, I learned how to run the cashiers through credit card machines and would kneel on a stool doing it. So the last <laughs> 18 years of my life, I've done that. Yeah. And uh, when I grow up, I... Even though I'm more of an adult in this one, yes. um, when I grow up, <laughs> I want to fix stuff. Not like like build it and fix it, but like fix the problems, like businessy problems. Yeah. And I'll create new ones. Yeah. Yeah. So there. It stopped. Okay. It's like it's, I don't want to hear that it's anymore. It's going again. Yep. Yeah. So you want to fix problems? Well, yes. you're in the right business, evidently. Yeah. So in the 23 years we've been open, I think I've learned more about what not to do than what to do. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. tried to teach her that before she got a formal education there in Clarkson. You know? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Yep. And at Clarkson, it was all textbook stuff. And right. so for me, it was really 
I had all the real world experience and when everyone was like, oh, what could possibly go wrong with this? I'm like, this is what could possibly go wrong! Because <laughs> yeah. I learned it my whole life. So that was your formal education, but this has been your formal yeah, education. Yeah, formal. I like your it. formal yes. education. Yes. Good. Exactly. It was also our workout program. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really good workout program. Neither yep. of us exercise because that's kind of gross. Yep. But Sign up. Yeah. Sign up for the Adirondack <laughs> Growers Yoga class. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's like one of those hit classes, like high intensity interval training or whatever. There you go. That's right. Yeah. Lift those carrots. Everything yep. is Put, in them yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put them down. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but just carrying the feed sacks for my pigs. 50 pounds, yes. like you got to engage your core. Yes, yes. It's very excellent you have to workout. Walk with it, you have to bend down. For right. It. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They stack it up in the cooler way above that's your right. head. That's you right. That's right. Have that yeah. problem, but yeah. Lauren and exactly. I do. You get really good at flexibility and being lumber. Yes. You know, <laughs> you're applying for everything. That's, so that's cool. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's perfect. That's a perfect example of why I come here. <laughs> And, and hang out with you people. And I'm so glad I can grow something that you know, yeah. I can kind of be one of the inside kids. Yeah, definitely yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, the donuts are definitely going to be worked in somehow. Yeah. Awesome. So who makes the donuts? My mom. Your My mom. grandma. Okay. Yep. Cool. And like, how many does she make every day? What's Anywhere, they come in bags of six, so anywhere from 20 bags to 40 bags. Wow. Yeah. It, if you could sell a bag of one for $5, I would buy it. Right. Seriously, because I, yeah, I only, only want one. one, but it would be worth paying extra, so you'd still make as much money. Add, added value, you know? Yeah. Added value. Yeah. So you're standing right in front of the cheese cooler, yes. and I've been loving this cheese. I got, uh, last time I was here, I got some like 300 year old cheddar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 year old. 12 year old, I, I don't know if I got the 12 year old, but I got the so eight year old and the three year old. Cook, but I make a meat and cheese plate. Oh. Yeah, I can cheese. I got your cheese. Or did you try my salsa? No, I didn't try the salsa. You gotta try his salsa. That's right, that's what we do oh, around okay, here. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>
interview video done celebrating one of my favorite places and some of my favorite people Adirondack Growers in Hopkinton New York uh, they also have a place in Malone and I highly encourage you if you're local to take a trip out there it's a really fun place the people are great and the you know it's fresh fresh vegetables from all over mostly New York State uh, and other local farmers and you need to support it you really do <laughs> if you're not in my area find somebody like Stephanie and Gary in your area and support them support your local farmers this is a joyful yet highly serious call to action we need to grow our own food locally <laughs> we need to be diversified as an agriculture that is sustainable and if the trucks stop running it's our local farmers who are going to save our lives people so just think about it and take some small local action where you are today to make the world a little bit greener and your life a little bit better and a little better nourished. <laughs> good food, good people. Let's take care of the soil and the air and the water for our children and there's children's children and their children's children. We can do this. No government's gonna do it. The people on the ground who care about the ground and healthy food, healthy nutrition will do it. And I hope you'll join me. Thanks so much for watching. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Boom. <laughs>